There is nothing. Only warm, primordial black. Ever. Never, ever. Never, ever, ever, baby. And an audience amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. Soaking in some lurid acidic sauce, it's... Ex-love. Ex-tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you suffered to get here. Some of... Do you really? You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. In fear and apprehension. You should ask what's out there first. Somewhere in the sore, bloated man-meter round, like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth, and with it, an ungodly headache. A fiery streak penetrates. Somehow, you know what it is. A Capri's can name a motor carriage. Hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. It says whirling in rags. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan. You reach out to grab the tie. But what's this? Diffuse, radiate. This is bad. For quite a long, still ongoing. Finally, the pressure recedes. You find your... above a hot water sprays from the base and suddenly you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there underneath the sock as you slowly reach your hand abort you clearly have not thought this through you won't like what you see there and you will never unbecome it yeah there is definitely something wrong with it. 
where to even begin. There is the bloatedness, then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. It's not. It's swollen and snail-like, wriggling between your fingers. It's not. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you behold. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Oh wait, is that an expression? Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. You can't, can you? What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? You are correct. Like the rest of you, it comes from a bad place somewhere in the... It's too late. Like an image on film. The expression. This fan has two chain pull switches. A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. It's just a little hangover induced photosensitivity. Don't overreact. Little black spots dance on your retinas. The lights are off again. The lights, the lights, the lights, the lights, the light, 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 the lights. The switch must be broken. Because nothing, the switch must be broken. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. What do you mean? Assess the damage. The morning light hurts your eyes. The morning light hurts your eyes. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. Hello, officer. The young woman raises a cigarette. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. Uh, no. Because you're a police officer, sir. I am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well rehearsed lies all this time. You've been here for three days. On official police business, no less. I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. Could it be because of the drinking? The words have already left your mouth. <laughs> no, 
You see? Come on, man. Freddy, please. One more time. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Something stirs in you as she's about to go. Call it an instinct, a need. The need to ask questions. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. Yes. It's 51. The current century? Centuries don't have numbers. They have names. And this is... Civilization has existed for 8,000 years, sir. Yeah? You're in a hostel, sir. We are in Revachol. Revachol is the disgraced former capital of the world, divided into zones of control under foreign occupation. Half a century after a failed... You sure look like you're from Revachol. Revachol. Her accent suggests she is not from around here. She's from Aranye, another part of the world. There was the usual ruckus. Loud disco music. I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. Oh, yes. Various artists. Ostentatious orchestration. Oh, that. Yeah. Whoa. The less said about Oh, oh. Oh, oh, we're huge where I come from. I was very young then, of course. Like, seven. Life gets hard, but weak. I don't know about that. At around two o'clock, disco, a slow, sad song started playing. Like organ music on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Some of the, yes, there was a church in there. A really small church. Like the smallest, saddest church in the whole world. It was about that it doesn't matter anymore and that we're alone now. It was difficult to tell. The song itself is very quiet and soft, but you sounded like a wind. Don't be. I was going out later anyway. It didn't bother. Then you started screaming and trashed the place. A window was smashed. The tape player, probably. The song stopped. And furniture, too. A real destructathon. There was screaming. Then I think uh, there was. I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type. Of I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet by then. Around four or five. And that was it. Glad to have been of assistance. The door is closed. This door can only be opened. There is no answer. You hear the shower being turned on. So, still no answer. Still no. You should punch a fucking hole in it. The murmur in your ear. You should totally sing karaoke here, the first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need- Of course. At this point, precise measurements of your soul through a PA system by other people, whether they like it or not. Ram it up their ears, says your adrenaline gland. Violently express yourself. You should sing the sad small church song from that tape you found. Thought it was obvious. Serves them right. You would need another copy of the tape first, though. The one upstairs is destroyed. A man in his late twenties stands behind the counter. That was disdain in his eyes. 
Even now he's purposely ignoring you. A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among parts. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to make This is the great skewer. The seabird is the symbol for the discovery of the Insulindian Isola, the part of the world. Look, your buddy is over there. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. Oh no, you're a hero. A real hero. Could the massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with- Am I? Or did you ride in, take the body down, solve the murder, and not trash my hostel room? No, you see, actually, you didn't. You haven't done anything even remotely useful since you- No, I haven't seen you around. I'm not always here. No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria. Mm-hmm. A competent work looks like the- This is the great skewer. The seabird is the- Look, your buddy is over there. Why don't you go and talk to him? He pretends not to hate. bespectacled man in an orange bomber jacket is as you approach he narrows his eyes and hello i'm kim kitsuragi lieutenant prison 57 you realize he's waiting for your name rafael ambrosius gusto Yes, well, it looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here, it also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Okay. We'll have time for that, after we take a look. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? So, the body is... This is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. After you, officer. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? You mean you don't have a badge? Losing your identification card is a serious matter. Hello, sweetie. Wait, who's sweetie? You're a handsome man, officer, with your miss, but dear, you're not for me. I'm too old and too married, besides. You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I complete. I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. 
This Lena is wacky enough for the Motley crew. Hire her on the spot. Whatever do you mean? Sequence killers? Oh my. But I think you already... A partner who needs you to help him get a corpse down from a tree. I can assure you with absolute certainty. Now, gentlemen, no need to squabble. Thank you, but... Martinez isn't the most wheel. Perhaps another time. Of course, dear. The man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. Mr. Gart, right? Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation, so joining me for... Right. Now... I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to... No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm a... Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. You said you just got here. From where? Are you... What? Of Martinez? No. I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep... But you still know your way around. Yeah. Yes, I know where some things are, but... I didn't imply that. Detective, it's your turn. Yes, yes, he means, do you have questions for me, like a police officer would? She went away because none of your extra fine. Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. Then I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. What are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. Suddenly you tense up. Blood is being pushed to your muscles. You should hound him on this. Hound him hard. No, I didn't. I didn't. I don't appreciate this. What is- Do I have to answer him? Is this mandatory? The lieutenant stands motionless, his expression unreadable. What are you, an idiot? I told you I haven't killed anyone. He ignores you. She went away be extra fine. Behind this building, there's a court. That's easy. See that door there? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the- The lieutenant turns the page in the little notebook he's been- I don't know who killed- What are you, crazy? Suddenly you tense up. Blood is being pushed. No, I didn't. I didn't. Do I have to arm- The lieutenant stands motionless. His ex- What are you, an idiot? He ignores you. Let's go. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. Oh, excuse me. You owe me 130 r The IIR, or Inter-Isolary Real, is the global reserve currency. Whatever part of the world you're in right now, it's safe to assume he means you owe him. Wow, you're a genius. Yes, that's right, money. You owe this establishment 130 real. Let's see. Three nights at a tariff of 20 real comes to 60 real. Then there's the window you annihilated. The whole another thing you've annihilated is half the bar. You've run a tab of 30 real. Actually, you can't arrest me. I haven't done anything.
What are you, a philosopher? Money is what grown-up people use to pay for things. Things like this hostel room or, or eight bottles of potent blend. Are you serious? From your work? I don't know. You can take bribes, I guess. I'm sorry. Some do take recompense, but only to survive. There's a shuffle of nylon as Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for something in the pockets of his orange box. I'm sorry, but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer if he doesn't. Officer, maybe you're better off working this from home for now. You live in Jamrock, right? It's not that far away. You mean somewhere else to run up a huge debt? I don't think so. The Union squeezed most- I'm sorry, I couldn't help more. You should take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car, okay? We have to get this investigation- Good luck. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place, sure. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. Why did you say that? No. But isn't that an expression, not a place? A saying, up on Marvel Hill, a great high place. That doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Entertain the thought when you get the time. Maybe being a hobo You should pick that fat, juicy cigarette butt from the tray. Light it up and smoke. Who knows what you are? A monster. A murderer. The gnome of Jero. How very astute of you. This renders it ineffectual. You should look for a whole cigarette. Or better yet, an entire pack. Strike. Good. And when you're done thinking about it. Plus, smoking them gives... Massive bonuses. Kim also tries not to look at the pile of tape viscera on the carpet. The man is finding it hard not to trip on the tape and not to send any of the bottles rolling across. Where unidentifiable sludge makes it hard for him to breathe. Smells of vomit in here. No problem, officer. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your fate. It belongs in the new, the third decade of the current century. Things were good. Forget about Austin. Out of the dazzling swirl of disco music, in an open air, 
Boîte de Nuit, somewhere in Rivershall West. Guillaume's blonde maid, there is a vast ocean of time between right now and the expression. Looking good on you, you have some understanding of the near history of disco, plus the trivia you've picked up along the way. Episodic memory, however, not really. OO must have just stirred your mind. They're more like a disco rock band. The click is used to spur on a horse. It also features have Sometimes you like to add, everyone loved it. Maybe you thought so. it doesn't have to be. You can swoon over Guillaume and his champagne cork smoke. It's like something snaps in you. A nerve ending. A thought. Just like that. It's... The bed is cold. This fan has two chain pull switches. The switch must be broken. The lights... The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind, the shards face outward. A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand. More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. The single green shoe you found fits the hole almost as well as your foot. It would have also been congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you could still find the other one. You mean someone else took your shoe off and smashed the window with it? A cool wind gushes in. There they both are, two I'd like two baby crocodiles. It's pretty clear, a normal cop. Good, they're balanced. The door is closed. Still, no. The lieutenant gives you. You should punch a fucking hole in it. The murmur in your ears. Re On the counter, 
rolled out of his open hand. You see a blister pack of headache. The man does not mind. You probably need them more than he does. You gently shake his shoulder, but nothing happens. You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. Hard to say. Your vision is blurred and you're having difficulty cop habit. This isn't case related, you think. The tire tracks were left here by an unknown event that took place some days ago. It's a message written in the language of burnt rubber. Some of that rubber stuck to the tiles right in front of the whirling in rags and then accelerated straight into the fence, left a hole big enough for the franco Niger. The driver proceeded to back out of the yard, barely stopping before heading south. Must have been in a hurry. You are correct. This is a rather motor carriage friendly. I'm not sure. There are plenty of traffic accidents waiting to... You could follow the track south. There seems to be a canal there. There are several footprints in the mud, left by work. Heavy workers' boots with reinforced toes and hop. Isn't this something an industrial worker would... Noted. Maybe more than twelve. No. Eight pairs of boots have shuffled back and forth in the mud. One. Standard work boot. Two. Standard work boot. Three. Hobnailed work boot. Four. Standard work boot. Number 45 or 46. Five. Another standard work boot. Six. An aberration. Light as air. Even pay impossible to tell. Could also have been an adolescent. Seven, the glowing outline of a standard work boot. Number eight, and yet another standard work boot. Number 44. How many? I was pretty off then. I counted 20. I never got the hang of it. Hyperopia. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? 200? Could it be the combined weight of two people, one carrying the other who's tied up? He might be right. 200 kilograms of living weight is unlikely. Possibly, yes. A woman or a kid? Okay. He knows it's hard to discern sex from a person's gait. That's okay. Go on. Interesting. Let's name it the someone operating a workbench with a pedal, like a joiner at the harbor, or maybe a drummer? No, it's not. Forget I said, perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. We should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam, see whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems... Mm -hmm. A week, maybe? Seven days would fit the time frame. It is not impossible. I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Havashol. Seven days below freezing. The day before... Correct again. Sub-zero temperature. What do I think? A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first... Indeed. They all stood in a row here and looked at the tree. Kuno 
Shadows, got this? If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid. Oh yeah, Nappa Comfy Kuno! Right in the dick, Kuno! Get him right in the <laughs> Love it in the dick! The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes and his jaw is twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. The kid is obviously high. Fuck that f Kuno! <laughs> Shit himself! The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno is not a gardener. The fuck are you talking about? He's calling us f Kuno! He says we're fucking each other! We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. You will see. All right. Entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. Kuno's Kuno pig. Kuno. Primal. Violent. Yeah. Think about it. Think about that rabid Kuno. Watch out, Kuno. He's trying to fiddle you. He's going to put his hands on you. Help! Pig's got Kuno! Help! Rape! Help! He's got the Kuno! Help! Help! He's digging... Escalate, Kuno! His dick is out! You pigs are there in Kuno! Somebody, please! No! <laughs> no! 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 Help! Misters, help! Rolling super hard. He's flashing Kuno. He's showing his genitals. If you don't know what Kuno's doing this because he likes. This is where Kuno establishes dominance. You put him up to this yourself when you did. Listen to your f friend. <laughs> Kuno owns the fat ass. Help! The RCM is trying to fuck Kuno! You didn't shut him down. Your fat fist didn't meet its target. Instead, it put- Kuno can't believe this shit! <laughs> Can no one stop pig? Kuno thought you had this. What happened? Kuno can't do anything now. Fuck your shoulder, fuck your knee, fuck your fat body up! Yeah, you deserve this, trying to show your dick to Kuno. Kuno was scared? Kuno's just gonna beat the shit out of you again. I told you not to tempt such forces. Now, how about we go and do some... This trash container is locked. The sliding lid as a padlock. The body is downwind from here. Maybe you prefer... We could try using a pry bar. There's one in my motor carriage, or... Or we could ask for a key from the manager of the whirling in rags. He probably has one. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen, and you seem to be holding your breath. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly... Active decay. It's okay to throw up, officer. He's about to blow! Cop's gonna blow, Kuno! An 
inconspicuous pile of the roofing. It's nothing. Someone just left some roofing material slanted against an old shack. Because it's nice and orderly, it's nothing. Some. All around you, rain fall, the spring thaw, looking up at the sky. Cold water, grey sky like great, your shirt sticks. You're not dressed for this weather. You should get an overcoat or a patrol. Sheets of rain over the wall, the ruins of a half-sunken sea fort, urban coastline, coal city, end of all lines. There's a fleet on the corner. A plastic. The great gates of the industrial harbor are locked. You shudder. Two green snakes. Tower blocks crowd one another. 4.46 millimeter bullet. Hallways collapse. A yard. Rain. A traffic jam. The road ascends. Revachol is the, its home. Have a brother in the cut. Where the wood at? To be in Martinez, where no one goes, standing in the rain. In the rain, it's the only home you have now, but you can't go back. Your vision blurs. You wipe coalition hero statics, collapsed storm drains, old... This rain will not let up anytime soon. You should get a raincoat. There's a freight to the east. They sell them there. call box with a matrix of push buttons lists all the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. This button looks new, but someone has removed... Huh, this button looks new. It's probably not connected yet. This Postla Vantorie mail collection box has been heavily vandalized with graffito. A closer inspection revealed. Before you stand, vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of... This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion. The Cuprice Kinema motor carriage. In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out tool, the frequency tabler lights up, and a green button, the soft purr of electrical kittens. Radio. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Elliot. Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st Precinct here. I'm putting him on. This is Officer Alice Demetri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Of course. What is the number, officer? Yes, hold on. Received. Lieutenant Kitsuragi slowly begins to tap a Officer, I have Sylvie Malaika on the line. Yes, hello? There is no resentment in her tone. She wants you to ask her out. No question about it. No, not me. No, sorry, I don't. <clears throat> not a lot of people have phones around here. Copper thieves, people don't have the money to have the cables put in again. They use the union. It was someone else. We'll find them sooner or later, officer. It just might take a while. What? Of course it bothered me. But I thought the Union already knew about the court. No one calls the police. The Union would get angry. You know, what the Union says goes. People listen to them and they take care of their own, which is like everyone here.
Legally, no. In reality, yes. Martinez is de facto policed by the Dock Workers' Union. I... I didn't want to get in trouble. Push her further. Show her the error of her ways. The other people who live around here. Local people, I... I didn't... You don't live here. You don't understand. Squealing is frowned upon here. Everything is dealt with. Please, I just didn't want any trouble. I... I didn't know I had to report it. I... The fucking nerves on her. Trying to hide behind weakness. You're a god. An angry but just god. You can almost hear the girl getting smaller on the other end of the line. Okay. You mean why did I leave the bar? Honestly, I'm not really comfortable discussing. I, uh, let's just say I left because I needed to get away. You know whom? Maybe, I don't know. I just know I have to take some time off right now. No, absolutely not. I do hope so. Please, don't call me again. Bye. No, she doesn't have a problem with you. It must be someone else she's angry about. So trust me, you wouldn't want to be the... No, you're the guy. You're Lieutenant Love, matchmaker extraordinaire. Help the poor girl out, lest she turns into a spinster. What misogyny? I'm just telling things the way they are. You have to act, Lieutenant Love. You have to calm that hist. Think you can do that, Lieutenant Love? You're just a gimp. Cole was terminated by the other party. Anything else, officer? Just a second, officer. Ten two, ten five. The man uses relay code. You got this. You're a cop, and cops know relay code. Ten four message received. Ten five relay message. Ten eighteen. State your message, sir. Ten four. Your badge should have most of your personal details. Look over that. Ten nine. Over. 10-4, message received. This is a very serious... 10 the captain. This sounds bad. Ba is it him? What does he want? Says he lost his badge and needs to report it. He what? He lost his badge? This is communication officer Jules Pitt. You mean your partner? What is he saying? <coughs> He's asking... I'm his goddamn partner! It's your partner, satellite officer Vitmar. Did he lose his memory along with his fucking badge? Who lost his badge? Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? It's Officer Dick Mullen from the best seller Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. Dick Mullen is not your name. It's the name of a fictional detective who would not defend yourself immediately. They're laughing at you. He says this has probably happened to other policemen before him, and laughs us. Oh god damn it! Is he fucking kidding? The whole Satellite officer Vikmar is wondering if you might be joking and adds that this tarnishes the reputation. Come on, take us! Ten four, I hear you, officer. I'm just going to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your miss. 
Fuck me. Mac, come here. You've got to hear this. What's going on? Supercop here lost his... He lost his... His badge. He lost his goddamn fucking badge. The nine come again. I didn't get that. Over. New heights even for Captain So- Ask him. <laughs> Ask him if he's lost his gun. Sergeant Orson wants to know if you lost your gun. Check your pockets. Check your... Holy fuck. You don't know where it... No. It's gone. The nine come in officer. Did you get my question? We were wondering about your gun. Over. Even before you can get the words out, everything gets scrambled in your brain. He says he didn't lose his gun. Oh. Ask him to describe it. His gun. Not as fun. <laughs> Satellite officer McLean. The fuck do you need a gun for? Look at the pythons on your arms. You are a gun. The biggest one in the world. It's a single shot kill A9. Says it's a kill uh, 9mm armistice. Armistice? What, is he a fucking... Dear God, he lost his gun? Oh, oh my... This isn't really a love. Mac can face a giant of Coco Nur by himself. <laughs> oh, I, I can't fuck. He was. I'm not going to ask him. Now is a good time to say fuck and ass and so on. That'll make this all right. He acknowledges your joke and asks you to lay off. Lay off? Tell him we'll lay off. Satellite officer vip. Then for affirmative, officer is in person. Oh god, I. Officer, do you need further assistance? Then for, I hear you. What does he want? He's asking for. Is he fuck? I don't think. Don't give that asshole anything. Right. Uh, that's a negative on the additional funds, mm -hmm. sir. Over. He says it's he isn't getting a request. Nothing is working. He said, well, I guess it better Vic Mar said Anything else, sir? Over. Roger that. Ten ten. Over and out. The metallic drawer slides out from Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long He's clearly a little protective of his t The pry bar feels cold and have useful for opening all sorts of doors and lids. It's robust, lets you see things in the dark. You the handles are locked. The pull-out toolbox slides back into its nest. Preheater gauge casts a warm glow on the steering levers and the radio on its hook. suede feels luxurious under the touch as you tap on the there's no use pressing the heat button it won't start without the ignition key translation we're not going anywhere right alternative translation don't even think This trash container is locked. The, the body is downwind from here. 
Maybe you prefer the smell of garbage to the smell of death. Force time isn't. What is this? Your triceps ache for the metal to bend, but it resists. This calls for a potent curse to help break it. The quality of metal is not the problem. From what I see, it's sturdy enough. There's a creaking sound as the pri- There's a creaking sound. There's a creaking. There's a creaking sound. Unsatisfying, hurtful, full of itself. Cont Let's ask the manager for the key. This is clearly not. Can I help you? Mine? No, it belongs to the Whirling in Rags. Thank you for clearing the up. Why? To keep the hobos and drunks out. That's why. And the neighbors too. I thought as much. And are you- Well, yes. It seems a little callous, doesn't it? Something stirs in you. Okay then. Maybe you're callous yourself. What do you need them for? It concerns the case. Please cooperate. Just bring them back once you're done, please. Absolutely. Absolutely. In the question. First we find a sad banger. Then we sing... This trash can with a well-oiled crack, the lock pops, don't. Maybe you shouldn't, maybe you shouldn't. Of course you should. This is your time to shine, hobo cop. Not just the feeling, a warning from some part of you. The smell of rotten food rises to greet you. You see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. We're just in time. This hasn't been emptied for over a week. Among the threadbare kitchen towels, something cat has the legs of the slime-covered jeans begin to... The victim's clothes? <laughs> Cadaverin odor is faint. Drop them in here, officer. Guitar marked blue jeans. Pocket empty or emptied. He wore them with a belt, too. The belt is missing. That's it. Do you see anything else in there? I have another... Something slimy catches your eye. A drab, long-sleeved shirt, olive-colored, appears from the... F this is a military-type overgarment. No label or serial number. The rest of the rags are just kitchen variety waste. All right. We should go to Gart again and ask if he knows who put the clothes in the trash. It could be as simple as someone from the hostel cleaning the yard. Or... that one. I'd advise against confront... Not really. All we know is... The fuck's he on about, kids? You hear that, Kuno? See? The lieutenant nods. You see, milk and egg rest with one broken egg in it. A box falls into pieces in your hands. Batiste Soleil cereal. There are plastic pasta packages below. And turbo noodles. It's just organic waste. Cold and... S What's this? A blue piece of plastic sticks out from the apple peels. It's sharp. They look badly damaged, but you can still make out forms and notes, written in a man's handwriting. Officer, is that your paperwork? Yes, it is. Look. This plastic has the RCM street grid on it. You've even got... If you don't mind me asking, how did this get in the trash?
Well, lucky we found it. You should take stock of what remains, just to be sure some has not made it into the hands of the RCM's adversaries. Organized crime and the like. It would also not hurt to start taking notes on the case. Wow, an armistice caliber 50 knock cannon, half wrapped in paper tissues. It's a giant rifle, and it's very expensive. Not as expensive as that fat string of pearls. And is that a Cordon Electric's preamp with Electra F2 tubes? It is. That, that's too bad, because none of those things are actually in there. There's just food waste and crisp. All you see is a broken mug with a racist depiction of the yellow man frolicking in, only in its social sensibility. Mm -hmm. Not much to see here anymore. Not much to see here. You see, milk, a box falls into peace. There's nothing more than the container sounds of muffled gong. That's one thing off the list. I think we got it all. It's just a racist mug. What's there to read here? Not much. Oh boy, here we go. What are you going to say about a broken, tossed away mug that you dug out of the garbage? Understood. It's the ledger you found in the trash. A pitiful cabbage of white and yellow papers hanging from plastic board, barely held together by a metal. Right, what more do you need? A rubber condom stuck. An aluminium block runs the width of the board, biting down on the paperwork. Its crocodile teeth are the only thing keeping the papers together. A regular pencil, the tip worn down. The surface is interrupted by a silvery sticker. It's rectangular. Sp what? That thing, it's a halogen watermark. We use it for adding information to RCM property. Any capable light with the right wavelength will do. All RCM vehicles have headlights designed to reveal halogen. This means you can read the watermarks if you just turn the lights on. Okay. While a bunch of sodden papers sag from the... It's the ledger you found in the trash. An aluminium block. The surface is inter... What? It depends. Aside from an... an any... All RCMV. This means you can read the watermarks if you just turn the lights on. Okay. While a bunch of sod... They're not exactly white. They're yellowed in patches. By... Once in a while, there's a red stamp that exclaims. Case files. Work. Strife. Poverty. The Jamrock Quarter. These are handwritten logs of investigations dating back to January 51. This year, the exact... It's the middle of March. You have attempted two cases a week on average. Huh? Two complex cases to undertake is a lot, yes. You really have to push yourself. I would not suggest it, lest you start making this Two? That's a lot. I didn't mean to say you are making mistakes, by the way. That was presumptuous of me. That's okay. We all do, sooner or later. Like a fan of girls, the checkered papers dr Yes, it appears you employer, shall we say, a title, one might say even. One that draws inspiration from s Yes, all caps. Others appear more like- You like this grimy, murdering, don't you? No, you don't. You're a human. It's going to take an effort to piece these case files together, but it can be done. Once you're done inspecting them up close, there is, for precisely, one more. Fifty. Sadly, the ledger only comes with an old, worn-down lead pencil. It's un- The lieutenant looks at his blue notebook. Two fat, shiny pens. He is not really saying anything. Just standing there. 
looking at absolutely motionless at first, then animated slowly. Onto the paper with a brash free hand, uncannily sim inspect the interview the cafe. It's not exactly poetry, but poet. A satisfying slash sounds across the paper. Things to be done and things already done. No, actually. Any ideas? Great. That's great. That's actually what I was thinking too. I'm going to start calling it the hanged man. It's good we sorted this out. Yes, how very childish of you. In your and my defense, almost everyone in the RCM uses the titular system. It's a holdover from the early days of the RCM, right after the revolution, when the organ... Again, in your defense, I seem to have named one the man with the hole in his head. I pray his loved ones never find out. Rail spiked through the head. He died. It was a workplace accident. You don't exactly close arson, petty theft, spousal abuse. Handwritten logs on dozens of investigations date back to January 51. You don't exactly close them so much as distance yourself from the smelly paper. It's proving to be harder than expected. You just don't have the intellectual rigor to patch the quilt back together. Try in the back, you then rip them from the three. The topmost are misconduct fines. You don't have to be an intellectual giant to do police work. A monetary penalization. These are quite sinister in turn. A dozen pages. Color of the irises. Predation marks. Condition of sexual organs. Yes, all that rem The rest of the stinking cellulose. It's made of dark blue plastic, hard enough to beat someone to submission with. The edges are... Something rattles inside, ever so lightly. Is the plastic shimmers like lapis lazuli, but it is not see-through. You... Something rattles inside. The plastic shim... With your hands, you four-sized pages hang from the clip, screwed to the top of the board. Mm. The two sides of the board appear slightly. The slides snap back into place. It should be without resistance or sound. The two ticket stubs and a handmade postcard. Two octopuses are smiling, reaching their tentacles toward each other in the colored pencil drawings. Thin wax paper has been glued to a piece of cardboard. It smells of chewing gum. A touch of cinnamon, the end of summer. Familiar handwriting lines the inside. A young woman in her twenties. There is care, effort, and a smile. Harry, it begins. You're already reading. I wanted to write you a letter so you can read it. Throw it away, please. A merciful wind. Let go. Your hands shake, holding onto it. Every morning when I step out, your every step I take, it grows. You, you, kisses, kisses, kisses. You feel the air sucked out of your lungs and the blood. You feel the ledger slip from your hand. No, no, hold on. To what? Detective. There is nothing again. Well, oh, that's me. Blue eyes, that's... Is it? A bitter caustic sense of loss remains. Even here in the pain. Because it's always there. Bloated corpse of the past resurfacing. Don't prod it it. It will start moving again. Bloated. Beautiful. There is no Voyager. You think they would let you? Yes. They're poor. It's delicious. Glowing lights on a dashboard emerge out of nothingness. 
in the upholstered cabin of Lieutenant Kitsuragi's motor carriage. Drink. Water. The water is cold, so... Drink. You haven't drunk water in two days. Did you know the human... With greedy gulps, you down... What happened? You were reading your paperwork. Then you passed out. I carried you to my kine... Ten minutes, maybe. That does sometimes happen. You dropped this. Are you okay to proceed? Good. It's the letter you found in the track. Without resistance or sound, the words just crossed your mind. Who do you think? You. You stare at the card willing your hand to move. It refuses. It's st your hand shakes. Your flight. The acidic stench of rotting food. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out. All right. Ready? I turn. The dashboard lights up. With the lights unfold with a... There you go. I'll turn them off from the remote once you're done. We just need... As you hold your ledger's clip under the headlamp, an iridescent hole. There she is. Reve Around the borders of the watermark are dozens. No, the rectangular watermark is overlaid with the logo. A rat brazenly darts past you and disappears amongst the stop. In the middle of a broken plaza, in a cone of light, barely visible in the daytime. Two men. Ah, Martinez. Let me see. Right here. No, it does not. The rectangular watermark is overlaid. Let me see, right here. It has its problems. The rectangular wa Let me see, right here. Oh, yes. All of them worse than here. There are many of them, and they are... The first row has 18 dots. The next is the longest. There are so many. It's hard to count. The last row has three. That's it. Those are perforations. They represent your record as an officer of the RCM. They are your statistics, as it... Son, here is where we score your life. The first row represents your years of service. 18 years. Okay, not bad at all. What did you do before you... Yes, that this next row... Wow, more than 200. It's quite a lot, even for someone who's been on the force for nearly two decades. Usually, clearing more than 10 cases a year puts you in the 90th percentile of all RCM officers. Right. Those are your confirmed kills. Confirmed kills? That sounds pretty evil. That's right. For an RCM officer, especially Precinct 41, which is in the... There are certain officers who treat their kills like some kind of ghoulish game. But it seems as though you are, or at least were, one of them. He's sincerely glad you're not a scary predator. Not to say relieved your co Yes. The lieutenant nods. Right. I'll go to... 